What's up, friends? We're talking about Ashes of Aries today on Reviews with Booze, and I'm Winston Smith. Today, we're talking about a group who uh, has some pretty high-profile members, you know. Van Williams of Nevermore on drums. Matthew Barlow, the uh, legendary vocalist of I Iced Earth. <laughs> and uh, Eddie Vandalis, who also played in Iced Earth on the bay. Uh, the year I wanted to try out, didn't have the balls. Clearly that guy did have the balls and he got the part. Shit. Awesome. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I think it's really awesome that they've gotten together and done this. And I hope that they aim to do future albums, whether it's uh, Ashes of Aries or whatever, but I hope they continue to record because uh, you can tell from the first start in the song The Messenger, when Matt's voice comes right in instantly, you get like the Dark Saga vibe. Just that he has that nice, uh, clearly Matt Barlow always does a lot of layered vocals and shit, just because it, frankly it sounds good. <laughs> but uh, has just like it's mad resonance. I just can't explain it. Like that dude's voice is made out of uh, his throat's made out of shit that uh, like Stradivarius violins are made out of and shit. You know, and other dudes like got all right voices, but uh, they don't got the same woods in the fucking tubes. You know, so right off the bat when he starts singing, it's like goddamn, his voice sounds so fucking good. You know, um, my favorite song on here is on Warrior's Wings, which is track three, and that's just because of the passion that just comes in it. You know, I, I think it's about a, a friend of his that passed away, and, you know, it's like a mid-tempo song. It kicks into fast at the end, but uh, it really just has the feeling and uh, the realness in, in the lyrics. You could tell uh, um, it means something to the person that's writing it, and uh, that's why I felt that song was uh, the best on the album. But... In 15 seconds of music, though, my favorite part of the album is the chorus of Chalice of Man, because it's all epic and uh, done up and shit. I heard uh, originally they, they had him singing it straight and pretty heavy, you know, like a thrash power metal type. But then uh, the producer was like, uh, you know, I got this idea, and clearly it worked out, because uh, the first time I heard the album, I couldn't pay attention to it much. I was at work, but then that part came on, and I was like, ooh, that was fucking dope, you know what I'm saying? So uh, that's fucking awesome. Uh, you know, I hope these guys uh, keep doing shit. And hopefully they will. Uh, move the chains is sweet, you know, fighting against the, the man is what it felt like to me. The, you know, the real money fucking changers behind the scenes and shit. <laughs> Punishment was probably my least favorite track. I mean, I think some people will like it. This, you know, these guys haven't broken the mold, but they do this extremely well. So, uh, check it out, motherfuckers. I'm Winston Smith, and y'all been watching reviews with booze. These bitches.